welcome back now in this video we will simply get the data and show it right in here so first let me just close that comments widget dot dot now we are back in job details dot dot as you guys can see okay so below this animated switcher in here what we will say we will simply say show comment as you guys can see the suggestion we will say if that equal to false then we will say show the empty container so in here empty container okay as you guys can see right in here if show coming that's equal to false it simply mean that if there will be no show comment and if that equal to false then we will show nothing okay now if the show comment not equals to false if there's gonna be some comment and we will show that then in here you will have else and right in else we will show that okay so let's do and and start working on that so in here we will say padding and it's going to take the padding as you guys can see now we will remove that we will edit just in a while in here comma and take this down now in this padding as usual we will have an agent sag we will go with the dot all we will set it to 16 point oh. and we will have the child right in the child we will say future builder there we go okay move that comma and in there we will say document snapshot there we go in here parenthesis and in here comma and tag this down now in there we can tag the future and we will say firebase firestore we can create instance as you guys can see right in here dot instance ok write to the collection let me tag this down from here so that you guys can see it easily ok so as you guys can see we are creating that instance firebase firestore right to the collection right in here string and the collection is going to be jobs ok we are going to get the data from that and we will show it right in here ok so then we will say dot doc we are going to check the job id specific job id ok and whenever we will done with that then simply we will say dot get ok we will get the data so in here comma and now it's gonna take the builder so in there contacts and attack that and snapshot snapshot and in here we'll have a curly brushes and take this down now right in there we will check if snapshot dot connection stat if that equal to the connection stat dot writing if there's going to be any writing then what we will do in that case you simply return right in the center of the screen in here semicolon and we will say child and let's show the circular progress indicator in case of there will be any writing so that's fine add the const modifier now let's move further so there's the working of if only if snapshot dot connection start if it's equal that right to the connection start dot writing then we will show right in the center of the screen as you guys can see a circle progress indicator let's move further now you will say else you will also check if snapshot dot data is that equal to no if there will be no data only in that case right in the center of the screen so in here you have a center widget and then you say child text you will show message that no coming for this job so if there will be no 
data okay as you guys can see right in here snapshot or data if that equal to no it simply means that if there will be no data then we will show that text right in the center of the screen as you guys can see the center widget right in here add the const modifier so the yellow line will be gone then cut it from here and paste it right in here in the center all just fine as you guys can see okay now let's move further so scroll it down first and below in here we'll say return and we will return the list view there we go okay dot separated it is going to take the some properties as you guys can see right in here for now we will just remove that and we will add it in a while one by one so that you guys just don't get confused in that in here semicolon and take this down and we're going to provide the shrink wrap we're going to set this to true and basically that shrink wrap it will create a fixed line scrollable linear array of a list and it's gonna separate it, the items by the list item okay so we set this to true and let's move further now we will provide the physics in here you will say never scrollable scroll physics there we go okay and what we will do just add the const modifier to that and just fine in here we going to take the item builder and provide the context and let's have the index for that okay in here curly brushes and take this down now right in this we will say return and gonna have the comment widget the design that we just implement before okay let me just show you right in the widget there we go with the comment widget dot dot okay that's the design that we just implement before close that and back again in here here for now we will remove that and we will add it one by one so that you guys just don't get confused in that now comment widget as you guys can see semicolon in here and tag this down now the first thing that we will get it's gonna be simply we will say snapshot dot data null check now let's get that job comment and guys the name will be similar right in here and also in the firebase okay so in here let's write the comments and with their specific index okay then we will say also the comment id for that specific job comment okay so comment id in here and write it end comma now we're gonna say in here comment id and colon as you guys can see the error has been gone so we get the data as you guys can see right in here as I tell you and it's gonna simply pass that it's gonna be right in the comment ID and it's gonna pass that right to the comment widget if you guys press the control and left click on the mouse it will get you to the comment widget okay control and left click on the mouse as you guys can see right in here we are now on the comment widget it is going to pass that comment id right in here okay and if you go back to the job details row dot in here now we will get simply the commenter id so in here first let me just write that commenter id and for a time saving we will copy that copy it and paste it down in here we will just modify it okay now in here what we will get the job comments and the user id in here user id right after 
let's simply get the commenter name the small c okay commenter name and as that in here you will just modify it the comments and gonna get the name right after let's get the comment body and pass that in here we will modify it your comments and right in here we will just get the comment body okay and guys look out for the spelling it must be same okay just don't get confused in that and write it and let's get the comment image url press that you will just modify the comments and in here user image url and here remove that one comma and we are just fine as you guys can see right in here okay now what it will do it will simply get that job comments user id job comments user name job comments comment body job comments user image url and one by one it is going to be right inside that okay let's say it's got that name and it's going to be right inside that comment name okay now just press the control and left click on the mouse it will get you right in here job comments okay commenter name so in here right in the design what we just implement we will show the comment commenter image url also the commenter name okay we just get it from there in here we will receive it okay as i tell you commenter name we just receive it in here and we just show it right in here and also the comment body and they're just fine right in the design we just show the body name and image url okay in here we just get this one by one there we go with the image url in here we will receive it that okay and in here we just show it there we go with the commenter image url okay i hope you can get the idea now and let's go back to the job details dot dot in here and that's why we first just implement the comment which is design and then we just get the data as you guys can see right in here okay all of the working right in here and i explain this in detail i hope you can get the idea now i will just explain it one more time just in a short way let's say i get this comment body okay from the job comments now it's going to be right inside the comment body and if you guys i have already explained this in detail i am just telling you again so that you guys can get the clear idea so now press the control and left click on the mouse it will take you right in here right to the comment widget design that we just implement before so in here we get that comment body okay receive it from the job details and in here we will just show it down in here there we go with the comment body right in the text widget okay so also we will get the commenter name as I told you before and also the commenter image URL and we will show that you guys will notice the output whenever we test the app it will be just right in here whenever we will click on that icon button now let's go back and I hope you can get the idea now